Well hello there Skywinders, welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode we're going to be looking at this, this is the Peacock Alarm Clock. So basically they do have uh, several colors. They have the white, black, pink, um, green and blue. So I picked the white one. So let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. And there you have it. So there are instructions here, although I don't think that you will need them. And this is um, battery operated. Wow, it's nice in person. Nice quality. So like I said, it is battery operated. And um, I did want something that's battery operated because uh, I don't like having so many cables around the around the house. So let's look around. At the front you have the screen. At the top you have the snooze slash light button. On the side you have nothing. On the bottom you have nothing, no rubber pads. And on the back you have this. This is the alarm on and off. And then you have the 12 and 24 hour selector. You have the um, centigrade Fahrenheit. I know for some reason it won't focus. You have the centigrade Fahrenheit. It won't focus, but take my word for it. Centigrade Fahrenheit selector. And uh, this is the hour selector and minute selector. Over here, let me try to focus. Oh, okay. Over here you have the, um, the night light. So you can turn that on and off. So you can put it on high, low, or off. And remember, this is battery operated, so you do have that that night light. So if you're going to use the night light, the odds are you're going to want to use a rechargeable battery. And as far as time uh, selection right here is the time set. I don't know why I won't focus. So we have time set, lock. And alarm set so that is interesting and um, down here you have the battery compartment for the batteries which are three of them triple A and they are not included so let's go find some triple A batteries okay so here are the triple A batteries those are my triple A batteries there are three of them so before we do that let's remove this film so this has to go so that's what you're left with so let's open it up over here install the batteries remember I would recommend using the um, rechargeable batteries so you can leave on whoa so you can leave on the um, the night light so these are big wow I'm surprised let's um, set the time so to set the time you move the switch up like that and then let's change the hour the hour is 615 I mean 6 so you look 6 and now the minute right here it's fifteen p.m. So we're going to leave it at that. So let's move this back to the center. And we're all set. 6.15 p.m. So now we have the um, temperature at Fahrenheit, 84 degrees. So you know it's hot in here. And I am looking at my other um, thermometer. And it says 83. So it's fairly accurate. I don't know which of the two is the uh, correct one. But they're one degree away from each other. And you can change that to centigrade if you live um, in another country. So that would be 29. And by the way, it's flickering like that, but that's just a camera. It's not really doing that in real life. So there we go. I'm going to leave it on Fahrenheit because I live in a Fahrenheit country, United States. And um, as far as the alarm, let's set the alarm. 
615, let's set it to um, 617. So let's change the minute, which is this one. Oh, I did that wrong. I'm going to do 18 because I'm running out of time. Okay, so there we go. So let me move that back to the center like that. So let's wait until 618. Okay, so that was that. I found it to be very loud. So you might want to put a sticker here if it's too loud for you. It's kind of loud for me. So you might want to put a sticker there. So let's turn off the alarm. So let's move this down like that. And the alarm is off, as you can see. So anytime the alarm is off, you know, you know it because it says off right there. So that is very nice. So pressing the um, this light button over here lights up the screen like that. Okay, and the next thing I want to look at is the um, this mood light or the night light. So right now you can't see it, but let me turn everything off in here. Okay, so there we go. So the light is permanently on. If you select the um, night light, you can do medium like this. So that's medium. I know you can't tell the difference because the um, my phone will automatically adjust brightness. And then let's do low, I mean off. So that's off. You can't see anything at all. I can't see with my eyes and you can't see it with the camera. So this is interesting. I've never had a phone. I mean, I never had a, a clock that had a, a light that would be permanently on just from the batteries. So I'm assuming that the batteries are going to drain fairly fast. But um, that's to be expected. So do use rechargeable batteries. So let's, that's bright, medium, off. Okay, so let me turn the lights on again. Okay, so I think that's it for the most part. Um, I'm looking at everything and I don't see any any uh, major flaws in it. It feels very nice, very um, sturdy. Doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, let's see the viewing angles. If you look at it straight, it looks very good. I know the camera doesn't show that. It seems it's kind of flickering in the camera. Let me turn off this light. Maybe that'll help. Yeah. So if you look at it straight ahead, it looks perfect. If you look at it from the top, it does look perfect. If you look at it from the bottom, it does fade a little. If you look at it from the sides, perfect. From that side is perfect. From the top is perfect. From the bottom it fades. Right now it's flickering as you can see, but it's not flickering in real life because I'm looking at it with my naked eye it's not flickering that's just the camera some sort of uh i don't know that's the camera but it's not doing that in real life so the only complaint i have about this is the um the beep is kind of loud 
um, so you can always just put a sticker there or something to block it off so it's not so loud I wish it had a control for the loudness but it does not so I think that's it I don't have anything else to say um, it's a very good clock thank you for watching subscribe and thumbs up